Hey everyone, this is the Pressure Prince with uh, another Hearts of Iron 4 Waking the Tiger Let's Play. Or, well, should I say, the first real one. I've got uh, some pretty least access to the Waking the Tiger DLC. So, we're gonna be playing as China, of course. This uh, It is called Waking the Tiger, after all. The new expansion. So we're gonna... Actually, already we see differences here. Uh, there are more difficulties uh, to choose from this is the usual stuff strengthening nations here but anyway let's hit play and uh, yeah let's uh, also save it here let's take a look at what we can do as China there's definitely a lot of stuff we can do first of all select the national focus what are we going to do there's a huge national focus tree. I haven't looked at it to see what is most optimal and stuff, but let's try and figure out what is the most fun to do. This stuff, 60 divisions plan. The army reform stuff looks pretty cool, but I don't think that's what we want to choose quite yet. Industry stuff looks nice. For investors, we get two off-map civilians, which is not bad. Three principles of the people okay the first things first things first we will go for the yes we want to go for mass salt we're going this side because you get plus five and then plus 15 here so that's plus 20 percent reinforce rate which is what i want against the ai now here we've got should i really start working on the interwar fighters do we really need that i think that's doubtful i'm gonna just produce pure infantry equipment at the start nothing else not gonna produce those interwars anyway is this i guess this is almost done but really what are we gonna do okay can't work on that however need the convoy because the convoy is of course very useful now here we do actually have to Let, let's take a look at our uh stuff here what are we gonna do Volunteer only all this stuff here. Eventually, we're gonna up this, but not currently. We have a lot of manpower. Free trade. We will stay on free trade because it gives us the most bonuses. We do want to switch to partial mode though when we can. And we have silent workhorse, which is awesome. We also have captain of industry, which is pretty nice. Popular figurehead is pretty interesting because we do need more stability. First lady of the. Republic, backroom backstabber, only 5%, it's not really strong. This guy, though, minus 5% consumer goods. There's actually quite a lot of good stuff here. Tank designers, I don't think we're going to go tanks, but eventually we might go air, so... Here's that. We do need the infantry stuff. What do we have? Okay, I guess we're going to go for Hanyan eventually. Or do we need infantry and stuff? Yeah, I guess eventually, because we're going to be going for... Uh, yeah, maybe we, we might eventually need better infantry equipment. You know what? Actually, I might want to even tech that. But for the start, we just need pure crap infantry equipment. <laughs> like, that's the only thing we need. So, there we have it. What I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to go for... Ooh. want that, though. Welfare. Nationalism. Okay, we probably want to... We're not gonna go with this stuff. Like, why would we? Nah. Why democracy? United Front. No, why? Of course. Of course, subjugate the warlords. Oh, yes. Pick a fight with Japan. War of Resistance. All this stuff here is really quite good. Mm, we'll get more stability as well. Tell me, why can we not pick War Economy? More than 50% War Support? Oh, of course, and we're not aligned and stuff. That's fine. Prioritize the interior. We gained a lot of stability from that. Like, that's actually not too bad. And then this stuff here, we get army reform. None of this other stuff here is too good. But the, these three here might be pretty good. Oh, gain one research slot. Well, I guess we know which one we're going to take. 
More factories than 74, so that means we need 75. Okay. I suppose this stuff is good, but I, I want the... I want that, even though it's going to be really bad for our uh, bonuses. We have to waste them. We still need that stuff. So, there you go. Now, should I work on civilians? Or on getting more civilians? I mean, we do need steel. So, steel, we, I guess we could get them from the US. No, 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 no. We need convoys for the US. I guess I have to s steal them from... Not. Let's buff France. Why not? Okay, now in terms of armies, well, I'm gonna have to organize this mess. We have 57 divisions, we have three civilians, where can we build stuff? I'm gonna build here in the interior just, just to be completely safe. See if the AI can actually take us. Now! I do, of course, want to, well, create the field marshal guy here. Do we already have a... Uh... Oh, we have some. Chu Yiming. Oh, this is... This stuff is really good. I'm gonna give him Charismatic, probably. That is a huge uh, thing. Yeah, that's really good. So, I do want him to have Charismatic. Yes. Because that's gonna give us some quite good stuff, really. Yielding Defender. Mm. <clears throat> nah. Charismatic is the way to go. Oh, we don't have the points, of course. Tu Yi Ming, however, as I mentioned before, he is pretty darn good, so I'm gonna pick him. Tu Yi Ming, there you go. Sun Li Jen. Ooh, five attack. My friend, you are awesome. I will give you. There, now, Sanjiao Jun, there's like a 10 width and then there's like this 20 width. I am gonna go for a 10 width and I'm gonna go for like a 10, 20, uh, not 20 width, but uh, what do you call it? Yeah, uh, under equipped uh, units is the way we're gonna play this out. But currently, we don't have much army XP, so. Okay, what we're gonna do here is, of course, we're going to uh, put all our units here. No, 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 no. You, my friends, you're going there. I have to do it like this, I think, and then there's like a couple of uh, events, decisions, whatever. Anyway, I think we've done what we needed to do. So ready to roll. Oh, this is pretty interesting, actually. We would get like really good economy with that. It's not bad, actually. Okay, can we actually get our fleet together? Do we have a commander still? Well, it doesn't cost anything, so might as well get one, you know? Okay, what's with our, uh, yeah, send it right over there. I don't think we can actually fight their uh, stuff, but, and then we just want to do Cass. Yeah, close their support. We're just going to be spamming out the infantry equipment, which is what we should be doing. I'm gonna go concentrated because that's what I need to. I actually, yeah. Should I go concentrated? Yeah, let's go concentrated. That's gonna help at the start, for sure. <clears throat> I definitely want the mechanical computing next. That's gonna really help. The question is, which one am I gonna get next? Probably I want this side here, right? Hmm. Yeah, because I do want to eat them up, right? But. Really couldn't care less about those guys. So. Okay, so we got that, which is awesome. But the next thing we want, of course, is we want the research slot. <clears throat> yes, give me. Okay, we have some decisions here that we can obviously take. Promises of peace doesn't sound good. Worker conditions. That doesn't sound good either. Okay, we can actually improve this for more aluminum, but that doesn't really help us currently. Take national leadership. What? <clears throat> okay, so we got that, but we need 
I'm gonna hope that I don't get declared on so I can actually get radio in time. But yeah, the third research slot is gonna help a lot. Now here, the thing is, prioritize the interior or foreign threats. Nope. We want to kill everyone. We're gonna annex everyone. Thing is, this is really annoying because I actually need army XP. I'm not gonna get army XP the way this is looking. Yeah, the basic infantry equipment though is pretty nice, I gotta say. I'm really hoping that army expansion. Law, okay. Not scared at all. What can we pick? Okay, promises of peace, improved worker conditions. Mm, we get more stability. That's a lot of PP. That's really not worth the PP. I think what I want is probably partial mob and then the silent workforce. It's going to be the plan. Okay, now here we have to actually make a choice. Do we want financial? Okay, we get the advisor, which is not too useful. We want more stability here. We could get 15% more stability, which would actually help us quite a bit. Wouldn't give us sieves, but okay, I'm probably gonna go that way. What would this give us? Three off map, okay. Engineers, max entrenchment, Verma Road, Litter Road. Hmm, this is interesting. What is our air designer currently? We have any decent ones? No, we have only. Hmm, not too good stuff. No. These are actually pretty terrible, to be honest. So I need better stuff. Okay, what do we really want here? Mission to the Soviets. Our Soviet... Okay, so we get the armor stuff. <clears throat> Germany. Chinese panzers. Nice. I do like the Soviet designer. Wargaming division? What? <laughs> yeah, that's pretty funny. Wow. Chinese general staff. Every army leader plus one. Okay. Okay, that's interesting. Modern logistics. Renegotiate. Nine power treaty. Mm-hmm. Okay. I guess we can eventually do that. One China. Oh, yes. Integrate Tibet or con conquer it. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Lots of good stuff here. Lots of good stuff here indeed. Okay, we do want this. Anti-communism. War of resistance. Oh, yes. Oh yes, the, all this stuff here is gonna give us huge boosts, so I mean... I don't see why we wouldn't go this side now though. Like extra stability and then like more stuff, okay. We're gonna go that side because it seems like it's okay. Of course, we, however, we do want the... Uh, okay, that's, that's more expensive, so I'll pick that one. I suppose. I mean, I could produce 1936 equipment, but I don't know if I'll be able to produce enough stuff. You know, and I don't think AI is gonna meme me with like units. You know what? Let's actually tech the 1936. Entry equipment, just because we can. And it's safe. Okay, can we please? I love how these guys are exercising. Probably want to be exercising. Two for army XP. Okay, so now we can take partial mobilization. Which is what we want. Because we now get more uh, stuff and we build mills faster. Which is, of course, ideal. Three principles of the people. Then we go that. Then we actually go... I'm not going to go united front. I'm going to go anti-communism. Because this is the way to go. 
Okay, I really, really, really need this side. I should have actually cheesed it with this slot, but I mean, I'm not gonna play optimally, especially in a single player game. Okay, three principles of the people. Let's go nationalism now, and let's see what this side gives us. I'm gonna build a lot of mills currently, like a lot of mills. You know what? I'm gonna build in Shanghai, because why not? Okay, what is Japan doing? New naval estimates. It's probably on the right. Yeah, usually the naval stuff is on the right. Okay, we're building a lot of this, which is awesome. Okay, we're getting XP, and we definitely want to upgrade this to, like, 10 width. That's for sure. And this is gonna be 20 width. Pocket defense? Alright, now we go defense and death. So that's what we do. Okay, what exactly is happening here, because... Okay, this is not what I expect. Okay, I would love to go down to like one division, but it's not how I want to play things out. Okay, Junt one. Okay, this this is the one we use this one on, so we can actually tell what's going on. We'll just we're just gonna call this Inf ten, and then we're gonna call this say Inf twenty. And we're gonna have one that's twenty with and one that's ten with, and that should be okay for basically everything. Really hate exercising though, because that's a lot of attrition. But we need the XP. Like we need the XP to make this into an actual proper 10 width, you know. Like, we really need 10 width. Okay, so that war has started. I could potentially send uh, at the shade, but like that's could I actually? Yeah, like is this really worth it? I don't think so. Looks like the AI has done stuff here, that's okay. okay. So we just got nationalism. So now we have like 50% stability, which is awesome. That is really awesome, but now we gotta focus on what kind of stuff we do now. Why would we want this stuff? Increase inflation, increase inflation. Why would we want to increase the inflation, guys? Okay, prioritize the interior. Then pick a fight with Japan, how about not? Okay, we will get more stability, which is nice. And then we can actually take a look at what it is that we can do. Okay, we're really getting a lot of infantry equipment, and I guess we can buff France slightly more again. Okay, can we actually produce more of these? Thank you. That would be nice. Okay, so we did finally get that equipment, it means we can switch it, we're gonna destroy that for a while. Of course, the next thing we obviously want is radio. We need that in time for war. I'm teching it just to be sure. And then with this, I'm going to go for the construction or machine tools. Construction is almost done, so I might as well keep going along with that. You know. I'm not going to bother cheesing this, even though I probably should. Hey. Okay, so I got that. Now I'm going to go for construction. I don't think I'm gonna try some cheesy stuff against uh, Japan because they're probably gonna defend properly. So I don't think it's. I don't think I should really bother. I mean, yeah, we we aren't missing too much here, so that's okay. And really, what what is actually going on? Okay, a lot of uh, PP Institute. That that's not really what we want. It's not what we want, but we want the PP guy. We need more PP. PP is always nice. So we're already on free trade, so we don't need that. Probably want a military theorist next, even though the other stuff is also nice. Extra stability would be pretty cool. Potentially. Okay, prioritize the interior. We got even more stability. I would like to try that and see what it actually does. Subjugate the warlords. Let's see. No, because that probably... You know what, I'm curious, so I'm gonna take a look at what that does. Because I really want to find out. Okay, now here... I'm gonna actually take like four guys away. And here I'm gonna take like five guys away. I'm gonna add you guys there, I'm gonna add you guys here. And now I need more leaders. Politically connected. Okay. Hmm, leader XP gain is lowered. 
Not Gu Zudong. I'll pick you, my friend. Although you, whatever, you're politically connected, so what? I don't care about such stuff. Okay, so we just got construction, which means we can probably get the next level of construction. <laughs> this is nice, because we get, like, a bonus. This is really nice, actually. Okay, so we do have our inf 10, which is not completely inf 10, actually, but there you go. Now it is inf 10. <laughs> We've got our defense in depth, and we're still going along with the other stuff, which is great. But anyway, that's enough for now. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Follow me on social media. See you all next time.